Manjaro depression, Manjaro cause anxiety. Hi friends, I'm Elizabeth, Countess of Shopping. I have been on Manjaro and now ZetBound because of the Manjaro shortage for the last almost 16 months. I've lost a whopping 85 pounds, completely changed my life as a result of taking Eli Lilly's Manjaro and now Eli Lilly's ZetBound. And on today's episode, I'm gonna talk about Manjaro depression, Manjaro anxiety, and the same to be true for ZetBound depression, ZetBound anxiety with tears, epitide, depression, and anxiety and coming up with a solution plan for my experience, strength and hope. As always, I am never pretending to be a healthcare provider, simply my experience, strength and hope of what I've learned the last 16 months to hopefully help you and benefit you on your GLP-1 journey, regardless if you're on Wegovy or semi-glutide or if you're on ZetBound and Manjaro. Let's go ahead and dive in to what the facts say. Here at Countess of Shopping, I demand of myself to be factually accurate. So these are the facts that I have. If for some reason there is an update that is needed because y'all do check and I always tell you trust but verify <laughs> if there is some sort of update it will be in the description and or in the comments as well let's go ahead and dive in and then I'm going to talk about an action plan of what's been working for me too um, and I want to give you some step-by-step -step action plans if this is the case for you I found this very fascinating over the last I have and I'm going to get completely candid here about my story here in a minute but I first want to give you the facts so there was a study that was put out I I wanted to talk about this because in my free group, which I'll link down and all of my links, including my sources that I'm gonna talk about with these scientific studies are linked in the dot, dot, dot more. You may need to click on dot, dot, dot more twice. YouTube has changed the description a little bit more, but it's a full list of all of the links that I'll give for you today. So there was a study that was done it was published in um, on my source on February 6th, 2024, about a new study by Epic Research examined the uh, electronic health records of more than 3 million patients with diabetes, um, and type two diabetics are on Manjaro, chronic obesity management is FDA approved for ZetBound. Now, some people on Manjaro were prescribed um, off-label for chronic obesity management, but that has somewhat since changed because of the Manjaro shortage. So going back over to the study, there were more than 3 million patients with diabetes and about 930,000 non-diabetic patients were taking a GLP-1. So almost a million, it was 930,000 people. That is a big sample size, by the way. <laughs> going back to my James Madison here in rural Virginia statistics class many moons ago, that's a big sample size. Among the both diabetic and non-diabetic patients, most versions of the GLP-1 were correlated with a decreased depression compared to those not taking the drug. So diabetic, diabetic patients taking terzepatide with the active ingredient in Eli Lilly's Manjaro saw the greatest, the greatest reduction in the likelihood of depression at 65%. The same ingredient in the main compound of ZepBound as well as terzepatide, which is FDA approved for chronic, um, for chronic obesity. It's, they said weight loss in November. It's not, it's chronic obesity management. Among non-diabetic patients, so uh, chronic obesity management users for GLP-1, the greatest reduction in the likelihood of depression was seen of those taking semi-glutide, which is Novo Nordisk, Ozempic and Wegovy. So I want to add a little side section here from the date that in which this was published. ZepBound was not um, for chronic obesity management for not for type 2 diabetics. Was did not get FDA approved until November of 2023. So that's probably why it wasn't included, just to give some context on that. So here's the study, and again, I'll link this down in the description link below, of diabetic per patients uh, prescribed different GLP-1 medications, and they list those in that study. Um, it saw the likelihood of anxiety in diabetic patients lower for those of five GLP-1 medications. How fabulous is that? Like, I feel like not enough people are talking about this, about if you have depression, if you have anxiety, how helpful GLP-1 medications can be. And among non-diabetic patients, by the way, if you've got a bestie, who's on a GLP-1 medication and you know previously they've suffered with depression or anxiety, share this video with them, share this video with them. Um, among non-diabetic patients, semi-glutide is correlated with a lower likelihood of depression and anxiety, while uh, laraglutide showed no statistic significant difference compared to those on non-GLP-1 medications. Like, how fascinating is this? And so it's going through, and we talked on yesterday's episode, if you didn't see that, of what happened with Eli Lilly, the manufacturer of Manjaro and ZetBound, for the Q1 update for investors calls. We've been waiting to hear more information about the shortage. We've come to find out from that uh, Eli Lilly Q1 of 2024 investor call that the shortage is gonna continue into 2025. 
that shortage is just going to keep on going through this year. So if you do are interested in a compound format, as always, looking for reputable compound pharmacies, I've got solutions and other videos that are linked in the description link below too. Talks in here about this, about the difference between non-diabetic and diabetic. So I want to go into, now that we have the information, it's actually decreasing. The studies are showing it's helping with depression. It's helping with anxiety. But that clocks, right, for a number of different reasons. And I'll talk about my own personal, that's the scientific facts. <laughs> this is my kind of shopping, my personal experience, strength, and hope to hopefully help you. I have been um, on the medication for the last 16 months, and the last week I have really been having a hard time and I didn't want to come on camera and I don't let, I always get very embarrassed crying but I'm trying to get over that with the intention of hopefully helping somebody I feel very called to hopefully help and so hopefully this will give someone some encouragement I have been this out of sorts the last week a lot's been going on and um so much so getting out of bed can be challenging for me and it has been truth be told I have suffered with depression and anxiety most of my life, like I can remember going back to high school now, I'm in my 40s, of, of, of having these depression and anxiety and actively working on that hardcore. And so I wanted to give some solutions. This way, past week, I feel like I've been depressed. Um, and I immediately thought, could it be Manjaro? I'm on Zepbound because of the Manjaro shortage, but they're the same thing. Same thing with the tears up type. I thought, could it be something I, I had titrated up to Zetmound 15 milligrams months ago? So it's not like I just newly titrated. And this data confirms it is not correlated. It is not related. In fact, these GLP-1 medications help. And I'm going to talk about why they help here in a minute. But I've been out of sorts. And the saving grace has been coming here to the Countess of Shopping community because... I care about you guys. You guys care about me for the most part. We have a really, really, like, the most positive community. And it's been rough. And I've, I've shared this, that we've had a family member who's been in the hospital, in and out of the hospital since January, since the beginning of the new year. Even before that, even in, like, Thanksgiving. So let's, even before that, it's been, like, October of last year. And a family, another family member has been diagnosed with colon cancer. And it's significantly impacting my family. And it's been rough. Like, it's been rough. So I'm sure that's probably why I'm having such a hard time. Like, those things in itself have been hard. And there's been so many amazing, beautiful things, too. And so I have been suffering. Like, the last week with not suffering. I feel like that's an inflammatory statement. I've been having a hard time getting out of bed and just allowing myself the grace just to kind of chill out a little bit. And, um... I'm trying not to let like my son see and things like that or let it affect like me being a mom. Like that to me is really important is to be there for my kid. And, um, but my husband's like, you, you I'm don't tell you what to do, but I'm going to tell you, you need to go yesterday. You need to go walk our dog, Mr. Freddy, uh, in the morning so you can get some sunshine and right as you wake up to help with your circadian rhythms and to help with your mood. And I did. And it, that really helped me. So if you are having depression, obviously first and foremost, talking to people about it, for me, I trust my husband and I have a licensed, amazing therapist that I work with. There's no shame in that game that I talk with a therapist. And um, that for me has been very beneficial. Like that has been awesome. And while I've seen her for like a decade plus, I will continue to see her because she keeps me stabilized. She keeps me grounded. I do these really cool things like go to Oprah and I work with celebrities and luxury brands for my business. Not here on like for this YouTube channel, but like my bit, like my business business. And keeping me grounded in that sense of doing these things, it's important to me. And uh, so anyways, talking to my therapist, obviously. And then number two, my husband's like, you need to go for a walk. And I did that yesterday and I did it again today and it very much helped. It, a, got me out of bed. B, I was sweating because <laughs> it's like 85 degrees here in Virginia. It's hot. Uh, before it got too hot in the morning though. I got me out of bed. It got me dressed. And I do think the sunshine really helped me. It hasn't been raining here in Virginia. And so... Um, Having a therapist, having someone I trust to talk to, taking a walk, and acknowledging that like my circumstances are probably why I'm it's not a chemical imbalance, I don't think, right now. It's a the circumstances stink. There's just crappy circumstances in life sometimes. And I'm walking through those right now. I'm trying to with grace and dignity. Um, best I can, besides crying on the internet. <laughs> but I'm crying on the internet because I'm hoping 
to be vulnerable to hopefully help somebody if they're going through anxiety or depression and knowing that Manjaro anxiety and Manjaro um, depression and Zetbound anxiety and Zetbound depression and our brothers and sisters on Wegovy and semi-glutide compounds and teresepatide compounds, that if you are having this, to go tell somebody and talk about it. It's, there's no shame in that. I'm embarrassed, but I'm not shameful, if that makes sense. Um, and then I talk to trusted sources like my husband and other, like a licensed therapist and, you know, a network of people who I really trust and value. And, um, I know I'm going to get through this pocket. I know it's just crappy right now. And I look at on paper, I'm like, my life is freaking amazing. I am so grateful and staying with a gratitude list and staying in that center of gra gratitude. I almost said gravity. <laughs> staying in that center of gratitude is really important to me. But noticeably, I have been off the last week or so. And um, I'm trying to, and I'm hoping that this, me beginning totally vulnerable, will help me rebound to get back to where I am, which is a positive, upbeat person predominantly, where I do have these seasons of where biologically I get out of whack and I get back into whack. And so I'm hoping to get back into that whack state by hopefully doing this video, acknowledging it. And that was my tip number four of acknowledging it, not pretending and trying to sweep it under the rug like this doesn't exist, that I don't, I'm not sad. Like I am sad. Like I don't really have a reason to be sad. I just feel off and I don't want to keep pretending that I don't feel off. And I know I'm going to get through this. So if you see me like, I'm going to get through it. It's all good. It's all good. And I'm so grateful for my life, but I do have pockets of anxiety and I have had a bunch of deliverables too. If I look at the facts, that's tip number five, look at the facts <laughs> and what factually is accurate. The facts are um, that I've had a lot of big, really cool things happen. I fly out again to YouTube in like, <laughs> like two weeks, um, to do this cool YouTube project because of you guys. So thank you guys, by the way, so much for that. And I've gotten to do a lot. I, my client was an executive producer for her in Las Vegas, um, a week or two ago and like cool stuff is happening. But once I'm kind of done with those deliverables, it's been like having a chance just to kind of let the dust settle after these big projects. Now sitting in that, I do feel uncomfortable and I do feel anxiety and it has no correlation with my GLP-1 medication, which is relieving, but also not relieving because I'm trying to figure out what it is so I can fix it. And I think part of it is, is just my life right now. <laughs> I'm in this season of personally, there's stuff going on. And as we all do, I know so many of you tell me in my free encouragement group, which I'll link down in the description link below too. There's a lot of people in that group who are thousands of people and it's an amazing, incredible, awesome group um, that I'm going to continue to show up for my community, even though, even though, comma, I don't feel a hundred percent, but me showing up for the community is getting me through to get to the other side of this feeling, um, too. So, and I've been through much worse. I mean, some of you guys know my backstory, like the passing of my daughter and some other things, like there's been a lot harder stuff in my life of this is not, we're going to get through this. My family and I are going to get through this and recognizing what's most important to me too. So let's recap some of the steps because I do, I promised you guys to have an action plan. And so I want to give an action plan of what I'm doing and what's working well for me. One, acknowledging that it's happening. Two, finding a trained therapist to talk to. There's no shame in that game. Three, having a, a, a group of people or one person that you can trust and be very, very honest with to talk about how you really feel and not masking or pretending or faking that it doesn't exist. Four, going for a walk in the morning, particularly for me, I did done two miles. Thank God for GLP-1 medications because I'm able to do those two miles because of Mr. with Mr. Freddie. I do it in the morning because I can get sunshine before it gets too hot. And then also um, it's before my kid and my, my mom responsibilities start to kick in too. It works well with my schedule. Um, and that movement of helping to hopefully help my brain. <laughs> Um, and my serotonin levels as well. I think serotonin, it's the thing, the feel good emotions by moving. And it's counterintuitive of how hard it is to move when I don't feel like moving, but making myself go do it. And because my husband loves me saying, I don't make you do anything, but I'm going to make you go walk the dog for two miles. Cause it's going to make you feel good. And I know it's going to help you. And he, he was right. <laughs> and so I'm going to do that again tomorrow because it's helping and it's helping push me out of this funk. 
and that I also know number five, I do have chemically where I'm, I have chemically differences than some other people too, and that that's okay as well. And so if this continues, no shame in that game of getting on medication for that too. I have had pockets of that in my life as well, of where with anxiety has previously been crippling for me, um, where I've had to get on medication. And I don't feel that way too. I don't feel like I'm gonna leap out of my skin or any of that with anxiety. It's feeling, well, and I don't know why. Like, I just feel weird that I'm at, like, the best part of my life. Like, great stuff is happening career-wise, family-wise, like, with my own, my husband and the Duke. Um, great stuff. But yet I feel like this on the inside, where I just want to cry. And I don't want to keep faking and making myself, like, I just want to feel good. So, and I know some of you guys come here for really positive content, but in lieu of being fake... <laughs> I want it to be authentic of like, I just feel like crap. And I'm trying not to feel like crap. I'm trying to push forward. And yesterday was awesome. It was so cool. I mean, like yesterday was such a highlight of being able to talk to you guys, like literally thousands and thousands of people about Eli Lilly. And I was able to put on a face to go do that. Um, because I was really looking forward to talking about that because I know it helps a lot of people and it helps me too. It helps me too, which I'm excited about. So I've been nervous to make this video. I've been feeling it the past couple of days of like, I wanted to share about this. Um, I wanted to share the good news too about anxiety and depression. And um, what is also helping push me out of this because I feel like I, I do feel like I'm coming out of the other side of it. And I do feel like I need to cry and I need to let this out. Um, and it, I do feel like I need to cry and let it out and then move forward too. And then move forward too. So, which is what I'm going to do. So, Thank you. I actually really do feel much better. Just like, now I've said it to people. I've said it out there and hopefully it will help somebody and hopefully it will help myself too. Um, and knowing that I'm not alone, I know that many of you do in general suffer with depression and anxiety and that that is, uh, there's a stigma somewhat, but there's also not a stigma somewhat um, with dealing with anxiety and depression and that these medications, as we, as we talked about yesterday, make sure you check out that video too. Um, that they're helping them more than just chronic obesity management and type 2 diabetes, but it clocks, right? Like this is where I was saying earlier, it clocks about this. Let me go back over to the study. That it clocks that it's helping um, the greatest reduction in likelihood of depression at 65% per that EPIC research study that was uh, the, released in February 2024. Um, it clocks because of the inflammation standpoint of also being able to move and work out more and not having for type two diabetics and for chronic obesity management, there's more movement <laughs> that eating better things and making better food choices. Eli Lilly does tell us that we do need to make these lifestyle changes for physical activity and for what we're eating. And for me, that's very much been true. I would not have walked two miles previously uh, before GLP-1 medication and doing wall Pilates, which I haven't done in the past couple of days because I just haven't felt like it. I haven't felt like it. I, actually, I take that back. I did that three days ago. I did. I made myself. But um, now I'm just snotting on YouTube. I don't mean to be snotting. I wish I had a tissue. I need a tissue. I've got soap. We talked in the other video about I need to put my soap back in my bathroom. Um, but going back over, it clocks about having not having the anxiety or because uh, or depression too is because the for me with inflammation, having a reduction of inflammation truly does help with my brain, helps with my overall body, but also making better food choices with that too. And it it makes sense. Like these things to me, when you think about it, it's like oh yeah. Um, and I, I hope in the comments, if you have other correlations with those two, I would love to hear it. I love reading the comments. I may not respond to all the comments, but I do read them all. And um, having a sample size this large too of 930,000 non-diabetic patients taking GLP-1 medication and 3 million patients with diabetes. So it's almost 4 million people. That's amazing. Like that's a lot of data that we can look through to tell us facts should be factually accurate that it's not these medications with depression and anxiety. And if you are feeling that way, to immediately talk to somebody. I, I, I very much, again, I'm not a healthcare provider or anything like that, but I do know immediately talking to somebody of not to sit in that because what is in the dark grows and what is in the light shrinks, which is, again, another reason why I did this video because I didn't want to be in darkness about it. And I also didn't want to feel shame about what I've been feeling um, that sometimes I can fester on that and I don't want to do that either. Um, I want to be honest with you guys of where I'm at and life has been really good. Like making these transitions, 
the woman up here was very depressed and anxious much of the time. And the woman down here has depression and has anxiety pockets, but not all the time. And that's a gift. That's truly, truly a gift that I'm really, really grateful for. So this is my honest raw video. <laughs> This is my honest and raw video. And many of you guys have asked too, and I do want to share this of something that definitely has helped me. Definitely has helped me as a couple of things. Um, if you are on Manjaro, by the way, if, if you just started Manjaro or Zet Bound, I do have several resources for you. Countessofshopping.com, my blog for all things Manjaro, Zet Bound, and Wegobi um, to help encourage you, a free encouragement group. And then here on YouTube, over 200 plus videos. One of my uh, amazing viewers, Anisha, actually has watched all of them, which I'm very humbled for that she binged watched them and like commented on each video, which made my heart go pitter patter. So Anisha, if you're still watching this video, you rock sister, it really made my heart super happy. I was like, oh my gosh, I was so humbled that you watched all of them. Um, and then number four is my Amazon Manjaro shopping list or Zetbound shopping list. A couple of things if you're getting started are helpful. You don't need to buy stuff but there are tools and techniques that have helped me, particularly with muscle mass loss and other things. One of the biggest things that has also helped me is magnesium. I switched my magnesiums. I feel like I talk about this on almost every video, but because it's had such a profound impact on my sleep, on my anxiety of helping it too, and then also on muscle recovery because I've been working out and moving. <laughs> Previous to this like, but even walking two miles in the heat, like that, that, you know, the muscle recovery with that too. So, um, I'll link that down below. There's a discount code queen for these. Uh, if you get anything from bio optimizers, I don't buy those on Amazon. I do not buy my supplements on Amazon. I buy everything else. I buy my supplements directly from vendors that has been helpful for me. And then many of you guys have asked about my daily. I've got this question all the time. My daily supplements because I'm eating substantially less. Um, I use gem discount code queen, and I like these because um, it has prebiotics and probiotics in it. So it helps with the tum tum. So that's been very helpful. And of course, like my protein stuff and my electrolytes and all of that stuff, I will link down below. So if you're new, I already got the resources for you. That's worked well for me. Feel free to take or leave them, but they've worked really, really well for me. Um, and we'll continue this conversation too over in the private Facebook group as well. Um, but here on YouTube, a couple of things. I do um, an emoji. If you've made it this far in the video, our emoji for today is going to be sunshine. <laughs> Just throw a little sunshine. We're going to do sunshine. And that will tell me that you've made it this far in the video. Um, one of two things. One, that means that you may like my content. And if you do, I kind of want, I want to know, I want to know you. And then two, I will pray over you. If you don't believe in prayer, I will uplift you in positive thought. Um, and I know some people have specific prayer requests. And if you do put a specific prayer request, feel free to take or leave. If you don't believe in prayer, great. All are welcome here at this table. Um, but if you do have specific prayer requests, I do know people in the community will also pray for you too. Um, and then, <laughs> and then, and if you also have not gotten my free ZetBound meal plan, that is linked down below too. Totally my gift to you for free. Let me pull that up so you guys can see. Um, I paid five hundred dollars for this from a nutritionist. Not a uh, excuse me, not a nutritionist, a dietitian. Yeah, dietitian. Dietitians are the one that have the higher level of education. She has her master's degree in nutrition, and so it's a week long meal plan plus a shopping list to go with that plus. Um, a bunch of recipes on there too. They're protein recipes because I found out I need, there's a bunch of the recipes, 100 to 120 grams of protein per day. So to help combat that muscle loss as well. So this is where I'm at. This is what I'm doing. Um, and hopefully that helps you. And hopefully it helps to know that the correlation with anxiety and depression is not coming from the GLP-1 for this study of millions of people that they're seeing a 65% reduction. I mean, tears epitide and semi-glutide we're seeing how it's helping with heart disease and um, liver functions and sleep apnea and like all of these other commas associated with not just type 2 diabetes and chronic obesity management, but a whole slew of things, including anxiety and depression. That's a gift. That's a gift. And I'm really grateful to be this, to be alive during this time um, of this revolutionary medications. My grandmother did not have access to these. And uh, with chronic obesity management being um, genetic, <laughs> the, the gift that I have this, that my, for example, my grandmother and ancestors did not. Grateful, 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 grateful. Staying in that heart of gratitude too, in the midst. So 
I love y'all. I appreciate you guys. You guys helped me get out of bed today. So I was like, I got to make a video. I make a video every day. I got to make a video today. Oh, let me just keep the video completely authentic. And I know that if you check me in a day or two, I'm going to be good. It's This is going to roll through as it always does. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. I'm Countess of Shopping. Count my blessings because life is delicious. I'll see you next time. Bye, sweet friends.